Different atmosphere! <laughs> yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm on the not so ideal area with the Game Boy Advance Game Boy Player on the GameCube, which I have to use a lamp to light this side of my face, kinda. And yeah, so why I'm on here is because stuff is unlocked that I can't actually unlock on the emulator that I found. Yeah, these characters right here, and well, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play as, you know, the regular version of these characters versus these four characters in their star versions. So I think that'll, I think that'll lead to something pretty interesting, maybe, might be. So we're gonna go, say, Ouija first, I guess, onto the Marion course, um... I guess back tees, I guess tournament greens, yeah, there we go. It's kind of funny, um, when I was making preparations on this, I was playing a whole lot better than I was uh, even on the, you know, regular emulator with the tweaks and whatnot like that. But look at this, there's the, there's the flickering thing that's going on here, so yeah, I, that, that's another issue, I guess, that... <laughs> That's that, that's kind of an issue on this sort of setup because it just yeah this this isn't something that would happen on the actual Game Boy Advance and I don't really get why that's a thing but it is a thing so <laughs> unfortunately it's gotta sort of kind of be lived with unless maybe I can tweak the frame skip or something like that in video editing to take care of the various jittering or whatever like that, and there's also the color issue, but you know, I'm, I'm probably complaining too much about stuff like this and not, you know, I should be focusing on the actual playing portion. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's just not the most ideal thing to record on for this particular game for whatever reason. I don't know why it doesn't play very well on the Game Boy Player, but it doesn't. So, here I am on the Game Boy Player anyway because of the Toadstool Tour unlock things. And, uh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing about it is that a lot of the stuff that gets unlocked in this game, like special star holes as well as these characters, are unlocked by Toadstool Tour linkage, you know, with the, uh, the Game Boy Advance to GameCube link cable. So, it's... It's a thing that I just wasn't able to simulate on the emulator, because there wasn't any, like, action replay codes or anything like that to, uh, uh, tweak it or anything, so... Yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm playing it this way. <laughs> That's all right, though. It'll work out, I guess. It's not ideal, but it'll work out. Alright, let's make this power putt here. I just moved it a smidge over to the left, and yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna put more focus into <laughs> into future holes, because clearly I was not all there thinking all the stuff that I wanted to say and stuff like that, so yeah, let's just go at it now for realsies, and put all the focus on to, well, okay, maybe I'm still used to the timing of the... <laughs> <laughs> the timing of the screen on uh, the PC, but whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't even have been close to that if I would have uh, actually hit that properly, and man, that jitter. That jitter. I guess, then, in that case, you know, without the frame skip tweak that I did on the emulator, it technically would have been, in a uh, it would have been accurate the other way, but this isn't really accurate even to the Game Boy Advance, so... I don't care about doing the frame skip thing. <laughs> Alright, Ouija. You had you got yourself in trouble there too, so uh so what you gonna do? <laughs> mm, I'm seeing a little roughages. Yeah, um you know I, I would have thought that you know Star Ouija would have would have fared a whole lot better, but no. I'm I'm not seeing it here. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a much better strike, so I'm getting sort of used to it again, but you know, him is hitting with that such a small impact area, it's gonna lead me to be astray on my next shot, you know, it's, it's gonna kind of plop me away from my target much farther than it would be if had it been wider. Ooh, nice approach there, Ouija! And I'm just gonna go and chip this on. I have to move it a little bit over to the left and... I'll hit it a little harder because of the wind. We'll see if I can chip it in. Oh! 
See, look what happens when I focus. It's just, it's just miraculous. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I will generally play better on the actual, you know, systems over a PC emulator due to the way that, you know, it runs better and whatnot, but, well, aside from the, the flickering, but the flickering has nothing to do with the, with the timing or anything like that. But now just watch, when I get back over to the uh, PC, it's, it's gonna, it's, I'm gonna be messed up again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some warm-ups. <laughs> but yeah, um, part of the reason also why I, when I was messing up when I was starting here is because I was actually uh, trying to do some stuff on the PC, and again, I got used to that timing as opposed to the timing that's on here, so... <laughs> oh, display lag. You are, by far, the greatest adversary to gamers worldwide. But anyway, there, there is no lag on this screen, though, so it's just a matter of me getting the feel for this again. And I'm not gonna move the cursor here. I don't think I'm gonna have to, based on it's crisscrossing over the arrows. Ooh, So close! I'm kind of surprised by that, because as you've seen, I was on the transition point off the first break, so I thought it would have been between arrows, and then off the, the second break, it looked like that was going straight across it, but no, I guess it wasn't. Well, whatever, it is okay. Uh, I'm gonna, no, wait, I can't make, this in, can't make this in two anyway with my drive distance, so I'm just gonna rip, grip it and rip it with, with normal power. And there you go. It's just, yeah, it's gonna be offline because the. Yeah, but whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm on the flat spot, I am pleased. And wow, this, this jitteriness is really, really awkward looking. And yeah, but anyway, it's, it's playable, it's usable. So, that is what I am looking for. Uh, I'm gonna go and. No, I'm gonna actually use a... No, I don't know, I, I can probably get away with using a power and hitting closer to the trees on the right side. Oh, miss hit a little bit on the impact area, but... Yeah, Mario's pretty punishing. <laughs> That's alright though, it'll, it'll all work out in the end, I'm sure. Um, and needless to say, as you can tell, I'm, I'm just going through the courses again. Starting with something that I think Ouija here will... Uh, do a decent job on because of his lower drive distance uh, than other st st star characters generally. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna just... Yeah. Oh shoot, I missed it. That's gonna be on the left side of the green. But yeah, the uh, thing about... Oh, not, maybe not. Hmm. 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 I'll take that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, basically the course choices that I'll be doing for these particular four matches will be something that I, I, th I think will be okay for their drive distances. You know, it's it's not never gonna be, you know, as good as a human can play, but, you know, just, just seeing what I can, how hard I can make it on myself, basically. Move it a little over to the left and over hits. If it doesn't go in, it's gonna go down that slope, but I don't think it's gonna miss. Nah, there wasn't very much break in that. And there we go, and there we go, birdie birdie, woo! Alright, so um, uh, I'm gonna go off to that side, you know, this drill with this hole, because there's the opening between the trees and stuff, so those spots are the spots that I'm looking for, just going from landing area to landing area, uh, just, you know, thinking about straight lines for the most part. I, I prefer not to hit over trees. If I can help it in my style, if you didn't realize that, because you just you just never know if things are gonna mess with you, and yeah, especially with the perspective of the 3D and or overhead thingajiggers and whatnot. So um, let's just see here if I can get. Oh shoot! Big time, big time miss it. <laughs> well, that's gonna be up on the flat tops. Oh no, not even there. <laughs> it rolled out. Oh. Oh, well, he could birdie. Well, I'll, I'll probably get a par. So yeah, that might actually make him catch up. But we'll see. Oh, jitteriness. <laughs> uh, Ouija? That's not gonna be... Oh, wait, it is. I thought I was gonna actually get caught up in the rough or something, but that's actually a brilliant shot. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can make this. It's gonna have to be pretty far over to the right. 
pretty far past the mark. It's uphill plus through the fringe and stuff. Ah! <laughs> so it looks like it's to even. That is okay. I'll just plop it in and we'll have a good time being even again. <laughs> Woo! Maybe Star Luigi will put up a fight, but then again, as I said, I'm not sure if it's because of uh, character stats being different than my main characters that I would use that I raised with love and care, but eh, 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 at the very least, it'll be fun. <laughs> Alright, I'm plopping it over there as well, and I miss hit on the impact area again. Ah, oh, poopers. It's a lot more punishing with the drivers on uh, with Mario than it is with the, the shorter irons I see, but you know, that's that's typical for miss hits. I'm um, trying to try and... Yeah, and I go... Mm, yeah, something like that, and something like... Well, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> I'd like to hit something in the center eventually, that would be lovely, but I think this is going to be alright, even if it is right at target, yeah. <laughs> Namely because of the slope of the green there, because uh, you never know, really know exactly where it's, where it's going to roll over on the arrows and the slopes and stuff like that, so it's just a matter of getting it all to be, I guess, as fail-proof as possible when you choose your shots. <laughs> But I think I'm going to end up going back to 1-up after this hole, because I don't think he's going to miss... Uh, I mean, I don't think he's going to make this putt. But we'll see. He might make the putt, but... Mm, it's looking pretty promising, but nah, not quite. That is an excellent light putt, though. And, uh... Unless I heard a beep from the camera. <laughs> I got a little worried there. <laughs> maybe there's someone else somewhere else, or maybe, maybe it was uh, suction from my earbuds or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to control my drive with Super Backspin so it doesn't get into any sort of trouble here. And yeah, keep it nice on the flat spot there. Neither of us are going to be making the green in two, probably. So this is going to be a thing of just, yeah, just, just plop it out there. Get up to the green as close as you can, then chip on one putt. Most likely. <laughs> you just never know. Um, I go off, the, off that bank a little bit. And, oh, I finally caught one in the center. Look at that. And this is going to go off the bank, as I said. It's just going to roll off to the side, like so. There you go. Yeah, when you play off a side bank like that, and you have it continually rolling forward, you won't, it won't actually stop on the bank most of the time, unless you hit it onto the top of the bank and just barely rolls down into it. Because, yeah, the, the continued rolling, it's just like the break of the green. If the ball keeps rolling, it's just going to keep breaking. Uh, ooh, that yeah, because I'm, I'm partially on the slope actually. Uh, it turned. Well, maybe I'm not. No, because that that's right. He's got to draw, so I've got to aim more. Yeah, to the right of it. Of course, I wasn't on the slope. Never mind. I thought I actually made a mistake there, but I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, uh, the the aiming cursor because of the draw, you know, it curves right to left like that. So. The, when, when it's coming into the green, it's coming in at a different angle, and oh, oh, oh he, he's got the moves. <laughs> That's a surprise. Woo, I was expecting two birdies for us, but wow. <laughs> Ocarina Green 8th returns with the super jittery screen, of course. Well, hopefully that's not going to be that way on your end after the producing, but we'll see. Ooh, um... I am going to have to do, yeah, one of those power and get under the ball dealios, probably, and... Oh, good crisp contact, yes! <laughs> Getting the hang of the timing again, and backspin will stop it right on the flat spot. Uh, it looked like it hit partially on the side slope, that's why it was bounced a little bit over that way, but and as long as it's on the flat spot, we are good, and that is not going to cut it for Ouija. <laughs> because I'm just going to end up tapping this in. Well, it, this wouldn't be a tap in IRL. You still got to aim, and there's, <laughs> there's a chance of not being in perfect alignment when you hit the ball to where you want it to go. And, yeah, so that's, that's a thing of, a, you know, a factor of, <laughs> of IRL golfing that doesn't really come up in Mario Golf or uh, uh, most other golf games, for that matter. Uh, but it, uh, so it, it makes... Putts that are on flat surfaces like that trivial, 
but uh, if it, you know, the longer a putt is, IRL, the harder it would be. But it's not, that's not necessarily the case here if you got a nice straight shot to over to the hole. So yeah, um, that looks like a good spot to aim as long as he backspins it. Uh, or he can cut back on power, that'll do too. Uh, look at that little patch of fairway down there. <laughs> Did you see that over on the side? I don't know why you would ever want, ever want to aim to that. I mean, yeah, that is, I guess, maybe cutting off the corner a little bit, but seriously, if you, like, look, why would you aim over there with the trees as opposed to getting a straight shot over to the green, even if it's longer? I don't understand that sort of reasoning. <laughs> but anyway, maybe, maybe it's a, a temporary green or something, like they'll change this to a from a par 4 to a par 3 on those bad condition days. <laughs> you know how they have those on golf courses? Oh, I overhit that, interesting. But yeah, you know how they have them on golf courses to kind of kind of tr uh, try and mess up, uh, probably change the uh, grounds when they're under repair or something like that to change the holes. Uh, so if you got somewhere else to aim rather than a green under repair or you know, just a main green, like maybe a course is open in a very wet winter time or something like that, and we're back to even. Look at that. <laughs> Man, the, these star characters are a lot, a lot tougher, aren't they? <laughs> At least it seems like they are. As I said, it might not matter if I'm playing with my mains, but eh, well, we'll see. I'm probably going to end up winning by the end of it anyway. I'm just going to hit it over there, close to the bend, and... Yeah, just whack it left of center, uh, if at all possible, and get it back on track. Because I miss hitting it all all the time on that side anyway, so <laughs> I'm just kind of kind of placing it where I think I will uh, have the best results. <laughs> uh, this one I'm gonna have to be more precise on, though. Oh, I got that one right in the center, and I'm gonna. I did super backspin because I overhit it, but I think that that might. Yeah, there we go. Look at that control. I was going to say, I think it's going to keep it around the, the green surface rather than the rough, and it did. Uh, it's on the fringe, so it's technically not on the green, but I'm, I'm going to putt it anyway because it's, you know, it's really close to the edge of the green. Yeah, oh no. That way, that's fairway? That looked like fringe. Okay, uh, what the? Uh, I don't... Uh, huh? That's... why would you aim that far left to begin with? I mean, look at all that slope. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'm gonna want to go a smidge to the right, so I did, and a smidge past the mark, so I did, and... drop, drop, drop! Oh! <laughs> Could have been one up again if I would have just hit it a little bit harder. Uh, or not, or, you know, Luigi could just miss his putt. That, that's that's another thing, I guess. Wow, look at the speed of that green. <laughs> oh, man. That's... He actually three-putted. Well, granted, one putt was off the green, so it's not technically a three-putt, but still. He gave me the hole. He he had that one. I, I would swear he would have that one. <laughs> I'm gonna go up on top of that slope there, if at all possible. Oh, look at that beautiful non-lag timing. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much of a difference it makes and you're not trying to anticipate lag. You've actually got used to that sort of thing. It's just crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I am going to generally miss it, you know, still sometimes, but not as much as I would on a, a laggy screen. Oh, that's going to leave him on the slope. Oh, it actually hopped up. Whoa! I thought it was going to roll across the ground, but it didn't. It actually hopped in the air a little bit. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyway. I think no matter how I hit this one, it's gonna be just fine because there's so much fairway over there, so yeah. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's fine, it's actually. It's out in the clearing. It's just that I gotta hit onto the floor, uh, hit onto the dance floor and have some good putting skills probably, maybe, because it all depends on how close I get. <laughs> That's also in the rough, all semi-rough, but he's in better position than I am, I think. Um, I'd like to go under it, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna go like that and oh, miss it. So that's gonna be on the in the left rough in front of the green. Ah, uh, boopers. <laughs> well, there's no wind, so I might be able to chip that in. 
But yeah, Mario's impact area is strangely punishing for having such such weak drive distance. You know, as opposed to say a Star Mario or Star character in general. Ooh, Ouija's got the stuff again. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm gonna be able to chip this one in as long as I get this nice and low. And we'll just smidge over to the right because of the draw. And just let it flow. Let it roll. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> because, see, the thing about that is I hit over all the break, so it was just a matter of getting it to the flat spot and rolling it straight to the hole, which is a piece of cake to do from such a short distance. Um, I'm gonna try and hit over everything, and <laughs> because this is a really tight location, and then backspin. How's that sound? Like super batsman. Ah, it's gonna go right to the green. <laughs> well, maybe not. I mean, it's gonna go in the bunker. <laughs> but that's, I guess, that's still right of the green-ish. It's like front right rather than right of the green. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, oh no! That's that's yeah. He's not gonna make a shot from that far away. Uh, well, I'll, since there's no win, I might be able to chip it in again. Because, <laughs> like, look, there's a flat spot right in front of the hole that I could, you know, pitch over and then just kind of plop it in the hole, maybe? Let's see. I'm gonna have to probably use a higher loft here, though. Uh, yeah, I'll do 9-iron and just let it fly and see how it goes. Oh, shoot! I forgot to change it for the draw. Ah! Missed opportunity. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't move the cursor at all there. When you you gotta move it like a smidge smidge to the right for the to anticipate the draw and whatnot. And there <laughs> sure. Uh I'm still doing all right though, I think. So there you go. Oh, nice crisp contact, look at that. <laughs> okay, that looks good to me. But, will that tree be in my way? I don't know. <laughs> Looking at that, I might have gotten a little too close to the tree. Ooh, but his miss hit might leave him on that front slope, so I might not have to worry. Oh, no, he's on, on a slope again. Every, it's like every time I'm predicting that I'm on a slope or not on a slope today, or someone's on a slope or not on a slope today, I get it wrong. I should just shut up when, that, when it comes to that sort of stuff. <laughs> Makes me look like a smarter predictor. <laughs> Um, I don't, that is a safe play, but I don't think that's going to be a, oh, it is in my way. I don't think that's going to be a very makeable putt. So I'm going to go for the precision shot here. And, oh, I, I might have gotten it. I mean, I overhit it a little bit, but I can control it with backspin, I think, just enough. Uh, maybe not. Ah, I should have super backspin that. Well, let's try and move it a little to the right this time. Especially because of the wind here. And just kind of wiggle it in there, hopefully. Yeah! <laughs> it's amazing what you can do when you actually aim properly for your character's stats. Uh, see, that's not going to go in, I don't think. Yeah, because it's just it's just very hard to get precise on such a putt of such a length. That's pretty good for a lag putt, though, so Ouija shouldn't be too sad about that. Uh, I'm gonna go over to the left side and top spin it through whatever junk and look at that perfect contact. And I thought if I would end up in rough or something, I could just top spin right through it. But no, no necessary top spin. But top spin will give me extra distance on the fairway. So, uh, oh, whoa! <laughs> Luigi's now miss hitting like crazy. Um, I hope he hasn't lost his confidence because I'm two up now. I don't know. I hope not for the sake of an exciting match. We'll see. Uh, Luigi can't make it, can he? Nah, and he wouldn't be able to use a driver out of there either, especially with his uh, miss-hitting risk. <laughs> I'm gonna hit forward and let it run to the back. No spin at all here. Just gonna, just gonna kind of let it do its thing. Oh, that's actually... It's gonna be on the green, but it's not gonna be anywhere close because I miss hit that. So yeah, it's gonna hit into the rough and slow down. <clears throat> so I can predict predict that today, but not the slopes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
yeah, that's gonna work, because he's up near the flat spot, but I don't know about my putt. We'll see what I can do about this. I'd like to get three up, if at all possible. Move it a smidge to the right, hit a little, little tiny bit past the mark, and... Yeah! Yeah! I wasn't sure if I'd make that, but that puts me three up. And, and, and... Uh, I'm gonna power it up there. Because that's the, the chunkiest portion of fairway. And, oh shoot, I wanted to do super top spin. My fingers slipped and <laughs> I went back to it. <laughs> In like a split second of the twitch, and that's why I'm late on the... Ah, well. Ah, well. Oh, by the way, I'm also using a different controller here now. It's a... Uh, uh, GameCube Wavebird here, so it's different than the Xbox controller, too. Uh, but, you know, better than the Xbox <laughs> controller, it's just that I've gotten so used to the Xbox controller, that's another thing. I've, I've played 40-some parts with the Xbox controller. <laughs> well, it's Xbox 360, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, that's not gonna be a viable putt, because he's putting through a ton of fringe there to get to the hole. I'd rather actually be long and go for the chip-in than be short like that and have to do a putt through fringe. So I'm going to play for that and... oh, miss it. <laughs> and hopefully get on the green and stay on the green around the holes area. Uh, yeah, like... oh, that's actually fantastic. I'm just outside the, the arrow's range there. So I shouldn't have to move the cursor and my next putt will go in. And see, that that's that's the issue of with putting through fringe. It's very unpredictable as to how the thing is going to come out of it. And thus, I win the match. <laughs> see, that's it's something that you, you pick up on this sort of stuff as you play the game. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, despite the jitteriness. And I'll see you in the next part when I have to do more jitteriness. 